Hey everybody, Josh here from Help HQ. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to turn off the Wi-Fi on your T-Mobile Arcadian modem and add a third-party router to give yourself additional controls over your home network. In order to accomplish this, you're gonna need a couple of things. We're going to need a router that you wanna use. So in this case, we're gonna be using this Dynalink Wi-Fi 6E mesh system and you're going to need a Windows PC in order to complete this. So once you have all of that stuff ready to go, let's head over to the Windows PC and show you what you need to do. I'd like to start off by giving a big shout out to Nader Tater. This wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for him and the things he's doing for the T-Mobile home internet community. Before we get started, it's important to note that we should be doing this uh, plugged in over Ethernet. And if you don't know what that is or what it looks like, uh, you're just going to plug an Ethernet cable into the back of either one of the Ethernet ports uh, on your Arcadian modem. So it should look something like the picture that you see here. Uh, you can do this over Wi-Fi, but since we're going to be turning the Wi-Fi off, it's uh, highly recommended that we do this over Ethernet. And then the other end of the Ethernet cable, you would obviously plug into the Ethernet port on your PC or laptop. If you don't have an Ethernet port, uh, you can buy a USB to Ethernet adapter and plug that into your computer. So the first thing we need to do is go to this website and we're going to download this file by clicking on the download button here and I'll throw a link down in the description for you guys. Now I've already ran through this just to make sure it works. So that's why you'll see two files here. But once you've downloaded it, you wanna double click and open the text file. And then we're gonna do a file save as, and we wanna change the save uh, as type to all files. And then we're gonna add a .ps1 to the end, changing the file extension from a text document to a PowerShell document. So once we've done that, we'll go ahead and click save, but I've already done that. So I'm just gonna close both of these things out. And then you'll see we have two files. So the bottom one is the PowerShell one. So now we wanna right click and we're gonna click run with PowerShell. And once we do that, you should see something that looks kind of like DOS for people that are familiar with that. And uh, here you're gonna to wanna to select yes. So we'll type Y for yes that we accept the policy and press return. And from here you will see a menu of the different things that we can do to the modem. And in this case we want to press 1 to turn off the Wi-Fi. So we will type 1 for the make a selection and press enter or return. And then it's going to ask us for the password which you get off the back of your modem which you'll see here. So for mine I've actually changed this but as you can see in the picture the stock one is Spearfish Zen 50 and overflow. So we're going to type Spearfish dot zen dot 50 dot overflow and then press return and then uh, you will see here that once we press return you will see that it's turning off the Wi-Fi and then if it's successful it will return to the main menu in which case you can press Q to quit after you close out of the PowerScript file you will see that we have a new file labeled config in the folder that we've downloaded everything into. And if we open that up, you will see that it will show our 2.4 gigahertz band and our five gigahertz band and where it says radio enabled both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz say false. So we know that this worked. Once we've completed this, we're now ready to set up our third party router. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug an ethernet cord into the back of the T-Mobile modem and it should look something like this doesn't matter which port we use and then for me for the Dynalink uh, mesh system we're going to use the WAN slash LAN port for wide area network um, your router might be different it might look like this where it shows an internet port if it doesn't have either of those two things you can just plug it into the number one port on the back of the router that you purchased from there you want to go ahead and just set up your router either through your app or through the web interface uh, per the instructions from the manufacturer. So that about does it for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And let me know if you guys had any issues with this uh, and what router you guys decided to use. Right now I'm currently testing out the Dynalink mesh system. I've already tested out the TP-Link AXE 5400 mesh system. Uh, you guys can check that video out here if you'd like. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
that about does it for this one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>